Now we're going to talk about the, uh, we're going to bring up two subjects here, the manual focus feature and with that uh, hyperfocal distances and how nice that is to be able to know how to set that. So we turn our camera on. You can see that we get this, uh, we get go first to 999. That's basically saying it's focusing at infinity. But if we hold that a little longer, we get 20 meters. Now let's see as we go down, if we actually do it while it's on that, we can go down to 10 meters, 7 meters, 5 meters, 4 meters, 3.5 meters, 3 meters, 2.8 meters, 2.6 meters, 2.4, 2.2, 2, 1.9, 1.8, 1.7, 1 1.6. We'll just keep doing it. There, down to its closest focusing. Okay, now, uh, and we can just cancel it by turning it off. Why that's important is that, uh, well, we've mentioned that the infrared focusing mode doesn't really work through glass. So we could be in a situation where we need to photograph through glass and we can manually set the, the uh, distances. It could just be that we also are uh, in that silent mode and we want the camera to be as quiet as possible. Well, w with it in the, with it already having the focus set, we're not going to hear the, 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 even in the silent mode, we're not going to hear the camera refocusing. Okay? So that's one advantage. But a big advantage, I think, is the actual uh, hyperfocal distances. And um, a hyperfocal distance is, and it's funny, you used to be able to see these on the old-fashioned lenses, the film lenses. They would have marks, and you could actually turn the lens and see it. Well, you kind of don't have that, really, although they've got a few markings here. Uh, with that, that isn't as easy to use, so it's better to go by a chart. And... Let's take a look at that chart now. Hopefully you've downloaded the Hexar editions by Frank DeWild from 1999 where he gives a chart about hyperfocal distances. That's a distance that you set your camera at and depending on the F number you have infinity to a closer distance in focus. I can't think in meters so I've converted the chart to feet. Now, of course, I still have to set meters on the camera, but this shows that at 5.6, if I set at 7 meters, I'll have everything from 11.5 feet to infinity in focus at 5.6. This can be very helpful for outdoor scenes, but also indoor scenes if you're a further enough distance away. And in the silent mode, they won't even hear the camera focus.